All right, this next flavor is gonna be pear. I kind of touched on it briefly in the apple review, and just in case I don't remember, pear goes really well with apple, or any kind of fruit that you're trying to give it a texture. Like apple has like a texture to it. It's like a grittiness to it. I can't really think of anything else that describes that consistency or whatever, but it, it just pairs really well with apple. In general, it pairs what well, or yeah, pairs pairs well with most fruits because it's not very strong. At least the pears that I've tried aren't very strong. But I don't know. You have to like pear unless you use it in small amounts with apple then you don't really taste it because the apple kind of like overpowers the pear. But anyway, start off with Perfumer's Apprentice. This probably would be tied for my favorite pear, but it just depends on what you're looking for. To me, the Perfumer's Apprentice pear tastes like a pear Jelly Belly. Like the authentic brand name Jelly Belly. Because, like, to me, I don't like jelly beans. I think they're gross. But Jelly Belly, I like their jelly beans because they don't taste as fake to me. So I don't mind Jelly Bellies. They're okay. It's not something I would prefer to eat, but they're whatever. And it tastes like that. <laughs> uh, 1 to 5%. It is a tank cracker, plastic cracker. Just be aware of that. The next one... Like I said, Thai for first is Mullenberry. Mullenberry is a relatively new flavoring brand. It's kind of a hard situation to explain. But they were like a replacement for Inawera's flavorings by this one website. And I don't know. They're from the UK somewhere. So I don't know. But this is more authentic tasting than the Perfumer's Apprentice and it goes well with apple or cactus. I would use it probably three to five percent. It's not weak but it's not strong. If you just want to add an accent of pear or add the texture like I was talking about, just use it at one percent and you won't really taste much of it. The last one is by Flavor Arts. This pear is very mild. Again like the apple, I don't know, some of, I think most of Flavor Arts fruits, they're very subtle because if you think about a real fruit, unless it's like a citrus, it's pretty weak. Like they're not very strong, bold flavors. And it could be a good or bad thing that they're so subtle, but I don't know. This one is no exception. It's, it's very mild. It's good in addition to other flavors, but like as a standalone flavor or like a a base flavor, I, do, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know that I would recommend any of these as like a standalone flavor unless you were used were to use the Perfumer's Apprentice as like a Jelly Belly flavor. I mean I think it would be fine for that but they're just not very strong flavors and I have yet to find a pair that's really strong and bold or anything like that so if you have any questions or recommendations on like a really nice strong pair I'm not really big on pears, but I do really like Asian pears. So if you have any recommendations on like an Asian pear or like a very juicy pear, because the problem I have with real pears is that, I don't know, around here at least, they're really dry and like almost sandy. So it's like just very, very gritty and just, I don't like it. So that's why I don't really eat them. But like I said, if you have any recommendations, comments, questions, them below.